my souls, and welcome back to Scarlet Nexus. Also, hello, Delint. Hello, Andy. Hello, Robert. Hello, Johnson. Uh, do we have an Aiden? Yes, we have an Aiden. Hello, Aiden. And hello, Heather. A uh, woo. Hey, Aiden, it's allergy season. You know what that means, right? For the next, like, five months, it's gonna fucking look like I'm crying on a constant fucking basis. For those who don't know me, I have some pretty intense allergies. <sniffs> One of them being to pollen. Oh, and before you ask, uh... Yes, pet hair is a allergen for me. I have dogs. And no, they're not the hypoallergenic kind. Hello, everyone. Mm. I am here too, yes. Ye. A woo burp. A woo or a woo burp? Just a woo. I did mean, I, for inter it's weird. Did to... have the chat? It's weird to think of what a burb trying to woo would sound like because you don't have lips. <laughs> you need to stick a pair of wax lips to your beak. Now you have lips. I hate wax lips. Ah. Well, we'll make them silicone then. You can have titty filler lips. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was my brain dying. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh. Good night, everybody. How long did that... Not even ten minutes. Anyways. Awu. Oh, and Robert, this is legit something I've dealt with all of my life. The, uh... Allergies get really bad around spring. Uh, around, like, I'd say early fall, late spring, my... Or, no, no. Uh, midsummer, late fall. Or, midsummer, early fall. My allergies will effectively stop screwing me over as much. It's just, at a baseline, I can handle the pet hair. I can handle the dust. Add the pollen on top of that, my entire brain just goes... Bleh! By the way, for those who don't know, I do sound effects. I'm going to start doing shit again with my face. Or at the very least, I'm going to start trying to do things again with my face. Probably not with this game, because there's already voiced uh, things, and I am not going to try to mimic some of these voices. But I want to get myself back into training my voice again. Does Azzy make a good pillow? Well, let's see. Come here. Oh. Let's see, Azzy. Do you make a good pillow? Oh. Yep, Azzy makes a good pillow. Oh. Whoa. 
However, the cousin of his that I saw would probably make a better pillow because as he here was about 80 bucks. Uh, actually, I think he was closer to 110. 140. Oh, 140, right. There was one that was 450. Yeah, it's about the size of me. Hold that thought, everybody. Ooh, even his paw makes a good pillow. Hmm. But yeah, no. As he here does make a good pillow, he's actually a really good snuggle uh, snuggle plush too. Um oh. I kinda wish there was a squeaker in his nose. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. I might actually pop his nose open at some point and put a squeaker in his nose. Um. What do you guys think? Squeaky has he? But yeah, no. Uh, for the record, uh, just so you guys can see, Give you guys a bit of a, like, idea of how big Azzy is. Hi. Now understand the $450 one is about five times bigger than this fucker. It is practically a couch. I actually want to save up and get one. I forgot I was muted. Hello, Burp. Ooh. Hello, Kit. Oh. Have you had your face numbed today? I have had my face actually weirdly numbed today, yes. Are you wondering how? Yes. A neighbor of mine whose dog really loves to give kisses uh, was out and about today as I was coming home from work. When I mean he was out and about, he was out and about. The neighbor was not. <laughs> so he runs up to me, hops up on me, gives me kisses. And the first thing I hear is, oh, my God, grab him before he goes in the street. Oh, God, thank you. By the way, I should point out this isn't a puppy that we're talking about. He's effectively the size of a Great Dane. But. Size of a Great Dane, but wiry. Uh, Irish Wolfhound and uh, Black Lab Mix. 
name's Bear. He a big ass dog. He's also the big black dog that one day I told you guys fucking literally just showed up on my door for no apparent reason. Like straight up, my 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 own doggo was freaking out, just kind of staring at the door, growling. Look out the door, and there's this big ass black dog, just pure black dog, just sitting there calmly. Understand. I've studied religion. Do you know how weird it is to have a giant black dog suddenly on your doorstep? In practically any and every religion, there's a thing about a big black dog showing up on your doorstep. Oh god, he's absolutely adorable. He's a big old snuggle... Uh, he's a big old snuggle bug, too. The funniest thing is... He's gigantic. His owner is like three foot eight. She is apparently uh, legally classified as a midget. And it's funny as all hell to see this tiny ass lady walking this giant ass dog. Ooh. Anyways, let's get on with the game tonight, shall we? Uh, actually, it, yeah, just a little shorter than you. Not by much, though. Ooh. Also, hey, Burb. Yes? Were you paying attention last stream to, well, actually, no. Did you see any of last stream? A little bit, not much. Cool. Did you, did you notice they were doing experiments on kids? Oh, you know, I noticed that part. <sighs> and, and you called it. Just straight up called it the first time they were experimenting on kids. Like, within the first two messages. It's starting to sound more and more like they experimented on these kids. These ones over here. Which, if that is the case, oof. I'm about five foot nine, I think. I'm about five nine for. There we go. Hey, I was wondering when that chunk was going. Let, let me put it to you this way. This is a lady that has to tread water in the shallow end of a lot of pools. Like, the local public pool, the uh, deepest area, or not deepest area, the shallowest area is four foot. She can't touch in four feet of water. Like, she cannot put her feet on the bottom of the pool in four feet of water. And her dog is big enough that if he really, really fucking tried, he could bowl me over with no effort whatsoever. I understand, I'm used to big-ass dogs trying to bowl me over. I guarantee you, Bear could. Wouldn't take him much. See, that's the thing, Andy. If I bring Azzy to FC, chances are Azzy won't be leaving my room. 
Mostly because there have been far too many times that people have done things like trying to steal plushies. Uh, apparently, there was even somebody who was attacked at a convention sometime within the last year, I believe. Uh, because they had bought a plushie somebody else wanted and got their plushie stolen. Don't quote me on this. I don't know if it's true. It's one of the things I fucking saw vaguely on Twitter. Or X. So, it could be real. It could be somebody blowing steam out their ass. It could be anything in between. Absolutely anything. Um... I was about to say, how do you, hey Burb, for a second there I thought yes. I somehow misplaced an entire, an entire mason jar full of, how the hell do you do that? <laughs> that was the response I was gonna go for on myself, how the fuck? Don't know. Could always set up a time to like head up to the room. Or you know, hang out relatively close to. I just don't want to keep eh, keep a hold of them for too terribly long while I'm on the con floor. Well that I don't know. I don't trust. And too many times hearing about things that happened that shouldn't happen. And that if it happened to you, and things that if they happened to me, I'd probably break someone. I'm sorry, that's one of the things, especially if with a plushie, don't. Like joking or otherwise, don't try to steal. I've I've known a couple of people who've made that mistake. It is always a mistake to do. A resource reading near here. And yes, I've I've actually known people who were stupid enough to try to steal one of my plushies. <laughs> it was funny when they realized that most of my plushies aren't really safe for work. <laughs> Hey, Burb. Yes? I will. I will to be you, too. <laughs> hey, Aiden, you remember the first time you decided to use one of my wolves as a pillow? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Kibis is high. And yes, that's meant to be a joke. Also, for the record, Aiden, you're the reason why I warn people about that particular plushie nowadays. Which one? Kiba. The one that I showed you at the convention. Ah. Uh. The only one that could, you know, cause issues with somebody trying to lay down on it and suddenly having something go into their ear.
That's trippy. It's trippy. Yeah, by the way, that's the other reason I don't carry mo uh, carry many plexes around with me at uh, conventions. <laughs> Although, if you want to see one of the stupidest things you'll ever see, modify a plushie and put a bottle of vodka in it and offer it to people at conventions, <laughs> guaranteed you'll see the stupidest shit happen. <laughs> Bingo, Delint. Yeah, no, it, it's fucking stupid as all hell that they've changed it to a week, like, during the week convention. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> Somebody tells me they had no choice in the matter. What do you mean? Like, those are the only available time slots. Type of no. Situation. No. Even this time, they chose it. You didn't attend the Hissin per the, uh, last year. They intentionally made it a weekday con again this year. Why the hell did they do that? Because they want to be able to say, hey, just go over Donner Summit again. Or Donner Pass again. There's a convention that happens the day after ours ends. Experience two cons in one week. It's a publicity thing. It's a event or uh, uh, event coordination sort of thing that one is stupid as shit and dangerous as hell because it's encouraging you to take Donner Pass in winter. That's never a good idea. Uh, second, it, it's, it's, it's a money thing. They're pandering to the party crowd, the rich kids who can afford to go to, like, four, five, and six cons a fucking month. What they're going to learn is that particular crowd are all- they're also the ones who do a lot of fucking drugs and get in a lot of trouble at the cons. They're almost, it's almost like those are the crowd that, you know, get cons shut down. But we'll see how it goes. You never know. I might just be being a cynical old tar. It doesn't look like they're storing data anywhere. I, I don't even see anything resembling any research way. equipment. I think the facility is underground, but there weren't any stairs leading down from the first floor. We'll just have to comb the area ourselves. If oh. this is where they conducted his personality rehabilitation, Nagi's data should be here. I wonder if Nagi managed you to get away. By the I had all of you there to rescue me, but he was alone. You're still as kind as ever. Nagi! You did come back. Of course you did. I mean, we're best friends, aren't we? 
Looks like Nagi received even more personality <laughs> rehabilitation. Because Nagi was regaining his original personality the last time we saw him? Personality <laughs> rehabilitation. You traitors against glorious new Himuka are the ones who need rehabilitation, not me! There's no need to worry, Yuito. <sighs> they specifically told me you need to be alive when I bring you in! Nagi, I don't want to fight you. Then come with me. We wouldn't have to fight then. Of course, I'll kill anyone else who gets in my way. So what's it gonna be? I didn't know Nagi could fight this way. If we don't use SAS, we don't have a chance. Thanks, Luca. Let's go. Don't let the brains run at this rate. Oofle. Okay, just stay safe. I didn't know I was gonna have to fight Nagi again. <laughs> you know what? Let's not even, you know. Bullshit about this. Let let's let's have him eh, have it. you feel my friend. Stop it, Nagi! I don't want to fight you. Then come with me. We wouldn't have to fight then. Of course, I'll kill anyone else who gets in my way. So what's it gonna be? Uh, I'll protect you all. I'll destroy everything. Don't let the personality rehabilitation control you, Nagi. You can tell me your friend! That's why I'm doing this. I'm steering my friends the right path. I can't put you in danger. I've seen a lot of people whose personalities suddenly change like that. I should have started investigating earlier. If you did. You would have been personality rehabilitated too. Let's do our best to stop him for now. Let's play nice, best friend! I'll target you like that! I didn't know Nagi could fight this well. If we don't use SAS, we don't have a chance. Thanks, Luca! There's a lot of awful lot of oofles happening today, Kit. Yes, because this is a difficult fight. Stop it, Nagi! I don't want to fight you! Then come with me! We wouldn't have to fight then. Of course, I'll it is kill hard, anyone it is hard to put the in, in the face repeatedly. So what's it gonna be? Use it well. This is bad. He's a rapid fire hitter. That's the problem. Please get it together. Thanks. Sorry for the trouble. I'm borrowing this, Gemma. I need support. Don't let the personality rehabilitation control you, Nagi. You can tell it's your friend. That's why I'm doing this. I'm steering my friends the right path. I didn't know Nagi could fight this way. If we don't use SAS, we don't have a chance. Let's regroup. I've seen a lot of people whose personalities suddenly change like that. I should have started investigating earlier. If you did, you would have been personality rehabilitated too. Let's do our best to stop him for now. Target. 
So he got me through that shit. <clears throat> well, so would I. But you never know, there's always GSFC. Stop it, Nagi! I don't want to fight you! Then come with me! We wouldn't have to fight then. Of course, I'll kill anyone else who gets in my way. So what's it gonna be? I didn't know Nagi could fight this one. If we don't use SAS, we don't have a chance. Don't let the personality rehabilitation control you, Nagi. You and Toei's your friend. That's why I'm doing this. I'm steering my friend to the right path. Here we go. That hurts. I've seen a lot of people whose personality suddenly changed like that. I should have started investigating earlier. If you did, you would have been personality rehabilitated too. Let's do our best to stop them from now. This way. Thank you, Nabi. Rest of it. Yuito, a member down. Go support. I'll tarp you up. Here we go! No use! <laughs> A smoke screen. Use clairvoyance, Yuito. We'll be able to see Nagi. Thanks, Luca. Need it! Here you go! Here we go! I'm borrowing this, Gamma. Let's regroup. Right ah, there. Ah, woo. inside the air bubble if we use teleportation it is nothing come on use it well good timing you guys good here we go My pleasure. I'll be your shield. 
Bad for you, I'm not done yet! Yeah! <laughs> Guys! Yuito, I know that was scary. They're all done with the tests now. Honest. Let me see that brave face. You're okay. It's all over. I was Mommy. right. A dream? About my mom? Why would I have that now? Oh, right. This ceiling. It looks like the hospital room from when I was a kid. The smell, too. Smell? <coughs> Where am I? Huh? I can't use my powers? You can't use your powers here. Those restraints are designed to nullify hey, your ever? abilities. Oh, ooh. You're such a fool. All you had to do was play the patriotic hero, and you would have had the world on a platter. Who are you? Just a humble staff member of this facility. We've met a number of times when you were a child, but I'm sure you don't remember. We did? Have you forgotten about your time here in the hospital with your mother? Which means, this is still somewhere inside the old OSF hospital. Where are my friends? No idea. Your friends are outside my jurisdiction. 
I'm in charge of duds. You mean people without powers? That's right. I was in charge of the experiments involving you and the Travers brothers. Unlike Karin and Luca, it seems like your psionic hormone levels are dropping. What? Now that I think about it, your psychokinesis was activated under some unconventional circumstances. Duds have an extremely low chance of manifesting powers in the first place. This could mean there's something special about your cerebrum. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Wait, I'm a dud? Oh, so you're missing your memories from when you were a dud too. This is going to be tricky. It seems your brain is accumulating damage as you use your power. I need to run some tests before I ask you any questions. I'm sure you've experienced episodes of sudden memory loss or having difficulty remembering your childhood. Wait! Please, explain it to me so I can understand. <sighs> it's simple. You were born a dud. Then you were hospitalized here with your mother because this was still the OSF hospital at that time. We know that duds are capable of acquiring potent powers. The country sends all duds to this hospital, where we run medical experiments on them. I'm a dud? I had no powers? In any case, it's time to go back to sleep. <laughs> Damn it! I can't stay awake. Yuito! Are you all right? Major General Fubuki? How? The program he gave us was able to tap into the facility's surveillance camera feed. I knew it would be dangerous infiltrating this place. I made sure I would be available if something happened. Thank you very much. I'm glad you guys are all right. I'm <coughs> sorry, Major General. We couldn't get Nagi's memory data. Right, Nagi. What happened after that? You suddenly collapsed, and Nagi... He took you, and then used you as... as a hostage. We were afraid of hurting you, so we couldn't attack him. We were locked inside a room. There was... strange equipment. I think it was for personality rehabilitation. But Major General Fubuki showed up before any of us were rehabilitated, so we're all okay. You don't have to worry about us. Sorry. You're always rescuing me. Thanks, guys. Wait. It looks like... others are gathering. I've disconnected the alarm, but they should already know Yuito's trying to get away. We have to escape the hospital. I've already shared the way out with Wataru. I'll hold them off here. But... Don't forget, I'm a Septentrion. I can handle myself. Take this. Don't lose it, no matter what. What is it? I'll tell you when we get out of here. Now go. You'll only get in my way. Okay. I don't <clears throat> see any safe area near here for teleporting. We have to run. Got it. Please, be careful. I had no power. Was I'm more confused than shocked. It's too much to take in. I can't see it, but the other is still around. Use SAS to find it. Nagi must have attacked My Yuito pleasure. under orders from the new Kimuka government. You should consider him as being completely under the government's control. Here we go! Get down! Give it everything you've got! Do it, Yuito! This is bad. What happened here? Is everyone okay? That was close. Here we go! You lit that one up. Yeah! It's over! Wow! Nice! Leave it to me!
Well, I mean, if they don't, it would be pretty bad press for them throwing a uh, single parent and child out who were, you know, admitted in a restricted income situation. Yeah, that would look really bad on them. Yep. I can't escape this way. Okay, lady, can I play with your face? You got this. Snuggles for the Zephyr. No. Also, hey, Burb. Yes. Oh. What is that on your face? Are you numbing my face? Yes, I'm numbing. Is it that obvious? <coughs> okay, Azzy. We're getting a little too close to my face. I hate having to put Azzy back like that. Because it makes it so weird. Because he can fucking slide off his perch so easily. Charging cable back. Charging controller, too. Oh, cool. So, yeah, I called it. At very least, this character was an experiment. So, bare minimum, this character is a science experiment for someone. And 10 to 1, the person that was quote-unquote taking care of him was who he thought was his dad. <laughs> or maybe his parents really were his parents and they're just really shitty yeah. parents. I got to fuck their facial features, and not in the well, not in the good way. way, not in the bad way either, really. 
It was in the neutral <laughs> way. No, it was just in the greasy way. That is probably the worst word to use to describe anything like that. Former Major General Karin? Yui, <coughs> it looks like you finally become a traitor too. What do you mean? Did the new Himuka government brand Yuito a traitor? Yes. I doubt you'd be allowed inside Suo. <sighs> Come to Seiron. You'll all be accepted as one of them. You're asking us to help Seiron? The same people who are sticking human brains inside others? Meanwhile, New Himuka is conducting experiments to metamorphose humans all in the name of producing a strong power. And at its center is the great city Suo. They're both twisted. They're both crazy. Then what do you want to do? Run to the religious fanatics in Togetsu? They're a religious state. They'd probably be open to taking in criminals such as yourselves. But Togetsu won't necessarily be a safe place this time around. This time? Just a figure of speech. Yeah. New Himuka won't be able to get us in Togetsu. They're an independent city. It is a little shady, though. Is that why you came here, Karin? To tell us this? <laughs> it was just an afterthought. However, take this if you're going to Togetsu. I can't drink this. I won't. Whether it's human blood or brains, you need to drink it if you want to live. Either way, you'll lose all your memories and powers if you choose to do nothing. The drugs are simply giving you time, so you have to drink it whether you like it or not. He's up to something. But what is it? Most likely saving Fabuki. Should we be helping him? No. Come back to the hideout. Major General Fabuki wanted me to tell you not to worry about him. Besides, I can at least monitor his status from here. Come back so we can make a plan on whether we're helping him or running to Togetsu. All right. Why did he say human blood or brains? Hey, good job, everyone. Man, this unit's so cozy. Wataru, what are you doing here? I had a meeting with Major General Fubuki. I was supposed to escape Hold to the hideout on. if they found out you guys snuck into the old hospital in Lokusho. I mean, I can navigate you anywhere as long as I have a PC and sign at. Which means that Fubuki predicted Yuito would be branded a traitor. So... He told Wataru to come here, since he is Yuito Platoon's operator. If they're going to make Yuito the bad guy, it makes sense to take out the person who knows what Yuito Platoon is up to. Good thing Wataru got here when he did. Otherwise, they may have subjected him to personality <sighs> rehabilitation. Yep, that's basically it. I made sure they didn't know where this hideout was before I left. This was originally a unit for the Sumeragi family. It'd be bad if Chief Kaito found out we're here. But it seems like we're fine for now. I haven't told my brother that we're using this unit, but we should be careful. We own many others, so I don't think they'd find this place right away. In any case, I can't believe my brother made me into a traitor. Yuito... It's really made it clear to me that he sided with the government. Not that I didn't already know that. Anyway, since I'll be staying here from now on, rest assured that nobody will find this hideout. More importantly, do you still have the thing Major General Fubuki gave you? I have it, right here. What is it? It's for Arahabaki, a one-time-use key code generator. Why would he give something that important to... Major General Fubuki entrusted the key code generator to you because he thought he might not come back alive. Have you heard anything from him? I've tracked him leaving the old OSF hospital. He completely disappeared from all systems after that. I hope he hasn't been captured by the government. My brother saved Fubuki. I'm sure of it. We have nothing to worry about. That reminds me. 
I wonder if it's true that former Major General Karin and Luca were both duds. I'll look for him on my end, too. Besides, you guys don't have the luxury of worrying about anyone. They're calling you demons and hypocrites in Suo. Our stocks are limited. If you don't make contact with Togetsu or Seiron soon, we're gonna run out of supplies. How could they do this? They were just hailing him as a hero. It's fine. They shouldn't have been calling me a hero in the first place. There's actually something I wanted to tell all of you. It seems that I was born without powers. <laughs> but you have powers. What are you saying? You know how I was being treated at the old OSF hospital as a kid? Mm -hmm. Seems like I was subjected to an experiment that caused me to acquire my power. I think the reason why my powers have been on the fritz lately is because they were artificially engineered. It probably puts a huge strain on my mind. Are you sure you're okay with telling us this? That you used to be a dud? Oh, is he sensitive about having been a dud? I mean, hiding it doesn't change the truth. And I figured you all deserve to know, considering all the trouble my unstable power caused you. It's no trouble. Really. Yeah, we're just worried about you. It's only natural for us to worry. But thank you for telling us. I've heard there are many people without powers who live their life suffering in secret. It's sad, but I do believe that is the case. And if something ever happens, you know we have your back. Thanks. All right. We should rest here a little bit and figure out what to do next. All right. Standby phase. It will probably be impossible to recover Nagi's memory data now. I guess this means Major General Fubuki's plan will have to be put on hold. What's up, Verb? Is the cutscene over? Can I speak again? Yes. The Nuggies are handing out paper mache crowns to everybody. Okay. Aiden gets the biggest one though because Aiden. So. <clears throat> Here's a thought, and I'm actually going to switch to this so you guys can uh, see my actual facial expressions while I'm reading this, because a uh, message from Water. I'll give you a little information on both Seiron and Togetsu while you think about where to go next. Cool. Let's do some research. Togetsu, like Major General Karin said is a religious nation located in the uh, Hino Mountain. Outsiders don't know much about what goes on there. The only thing that's certain is that it's freezing cold. Be ready for that if you plan to go. Seiron, on the other hand, is Major General Karn's group's base of operations, meaning they consider him a comrade. Knowing that, their research... Uh, Knowing that they researched those ampules and weaponized others, it's just as fishy as Suo. I don't know if they can be trusted. The city itself is known for being more peaceful than Suo. I don't know how peaceful we can call it since the rebellion, though. So, it is fairly literally side with the people that just cancelled my ass. 
After calling me a hero, I am now officially their pariah. That's not an option. This feels familiar. Side with the people that are, uh, you know, willing to go to ex uh, extremes in other ways to get shit done, but are quote unquote compassionate. Or I can go and hang out with the religious nut jobs in the mountains who are apparently shady. Either way, you lose. Not really! <laughs> Religious nut jobs I can deal with. I hate fake kindness. I really do. Because, I'm sorry. You're kind, but you're willing to go to the same extreme. You're still a soldier, you're still a monster. Sorry. In my head, if I am looking for a safe place to go, why would I effectively go from one extremist group to another extremist group? Better to throw your lot in with the crazy that you know, right? What do you think, Burb? I try not to. <laughs> That's kind of my point, Burb! Thank you! I meant that as a joke, Kit. I'm aware, but you, you don't realize you just... You made my point. Because the way I see the world is you've got... Uh, hell, let's take the furry community. You've got political side A, political side B, and then they're just the people caught in between that are going... I just want to be a dog. Sorry. I'll throw my hat in with the people that just want to be a dog. <laughs> we all probably knew where this was going. Religious nut jobs and fanatics I can deal with. If I need to break a fucking zealot's head, I'll break a zealot's head. Not choosing one military for another military. Not choosing one extremist for another extremist. Because realistically, you find a lot of fucked up people in situations where you got people caught in the middle. Or people who just want to be left alone. But at the same time, you find a lot of really, really nice people. It takes dealing with some dumbasses and some stupid Great up uh, terrible people occasionally. But you know what? I can choose to ignore those ones. And avoid those ones. I hate how Twitter gets into everything, by the way. Because <laughs> once again, why does this game make me feel like Twitter? Why does this remind me of Twitter? Why is this Twitter? Why is this a Twitio game? <laughs> Oh, 
I'm sorry, but not sorry about that statement. Because apparently the Twidio game is real. Hey, Burb. Yes? Is your brain hurting? Yes. Just... Because anytime I go on Twitter, I find myself going, Hey, there's a dude that everybody hates that's saying something that actually makes kind of sense. But then there's a bunch of people that are supposed to be popular kind of doing shit like going, Hey, let's, uh, defend people that would throw us off roofs. Huh? In this case, one side apparently thinks I'm a traitor, so they're gonna throw me off a roof. <laughs> The other side are just fucking. They seem. They seem like they've got good heads on their shoulders. Those heads are ever so slightly nuts. And then, I find the most normal people on that platform are the ones that just straight up don't care one way or the other. The ones that just want to be left the fuck alone. And that's effectively what this is coming down to. I mean, most teams are cute. Difficult. We can't really trust either one. I do not know. Uh, I do not like how much is unknown uh, is unknown about Togetsu, but that doesn't mean there is much to learn, or that does mean there is much to learn. So, admittedly, Togetsu is an unknown. Oh, yep. Awo? Awo? A little better? There's still probably a crackle. What do you guys think? A little bit better? Yeah, you don't hear the crackle. Okay. It's, it's not registering very loud. Give me a second, let's see if I can make it, you know, completely gone. Oh. Okay, not completely gone, but, yeah, not as, not as anywhere. Not as anywhere. Uh, so, admittedly here, Togetsu is an unknown. They don't know as much about the place, which means, more than likely, it's literally the people that just want to be left the fuck alone the in the advantage in Seiron is that we at least know who we're up against i will leave the final decision up to you yuito fuck me do i need to get the crow wrong kind so of fuck me so you were to this hospital when you were little as part of an experiment on duds I can't believe they locked kids in a hospital to experiment on them. Must have been scary. That's unforgivable. I, I did not really remember it, it, but thanks for worrying about me. Oh.
Cool. That I don't mind. So I'm a rebel. I can't believe Suo is after me. I don't know if I should go to Togetsu or Seiron, but what Seiron is doing is unforgivable. I can't do a thing with her. I can do a thing with her. I can do a thing with him. Can I do a thing with you? Can I do a thing with Wataru? I'm here permanently. It's so much more comfortable than I thought I should have come sooner. Okay, I can't do a thing to Wataru. I mean, with Wataru. Those are still treated differently. Many people still hold prejudice against them. <laughs> yeah, trust me. <clears throat> Here's a drone to drone about it. <sighs> Thank you. I mean... Yeah. No, I, I kind of already figured that out. I, I, I've got a red kitty girl and a black kitty girl. It'd be nice if we could eh, control a crow's drone like this, too. That's a phrase. Oh, hey, you're playing with yourself. Can I give you a po- oh, holy fuck nuggets. <laughs> uh, this poster picture- feature, features pictures of perfect bodies only attainable by dedicated athletes. You really are the gayest little fucker, aren't you? <laughs> this is amazing. Thank you. You can tell you've already reached these heights. Yeah, you are a gay little fucker. This is perfect. I will I'll brand this image training into my mind to reach my ideal body. Question, how old is this kid? Fuck if I know. But apparently he can fucking bench press thousands of pounds. Gamas. Look, I have been reorganized as a team with strong bond and ability and are allowed to wear white battle attire. Hold on. 
That I've got to see. Cool. Doesn't really match her anymore, though. Oh, ooh. No, I haven't. Also, uh... For the record, I do have a rule of no spoilers, so thank you, by the way, for phrasing it the way you did. Uh, phrasing things like that as a question, so long as you're not giving away too much detail, uh, is fucking just perfect way of doing it. Absolutely perfect, so thank you. <laughs> hey, cool. Hey, Nexus, hurry your ass up. Meenle, meenle. Uh, woo. How has your day been? How many times are we gonna have to bl uh, bludgeon you with titties tonight? My brain said titties and I meant to say snitties. That's the first time I've Freudian slipped titties. Maybe it's because I want to fuck a watermelon. <laughs> if you don't get the joke, don't worry. It's a really stupid one. <coughs> okay, so... I, I can see the joke flew over Robert's head, at least. Would you like me to explain, Robert? So, hey, Robert, there was this one uh, psychologist and philosopher who believed that if you dreamed about watermelons, it was because you wanted to fuck your mother. Dude was effectively the guy who created the concept of dream analysis, and yet he's also the dude who was obsessed with banging mothers, apparently. The joke here is, if I Freudian slipped, uh, by the way, the dude's name was Freud, uh, if I Freudian slipped titties, maybe it's because I wanted to fuck a watermelon. Same kind of leap in logic the guy usually used. Just in reverse. I mean, in some cases he was. He was obsessed. He was also fucking a drug addict at one point, but he was also considered one of the uh, fathers of uh, psychology. Understand, this is not an individual who lives nowadays. This is an individual who died hundreds and... Died. I think it was hundred uh, over a hundred years ago. Actually, fairly certain over a hundred years ago. Hold on. What year did Sigmund Freud die? This, this is gonna put me on a list. What year does Sigmund Freud die? 
1939. Who died in 1939? Not quite 20, uh, not quite 100 years. Close, though. I mean, most people who want to better understand the human mind are that way because they don't really understand why their brain does what it does. It's one of the reasons I fucking studied it. And yes, I, I studied psychology for a very long time until it dawned on me that I wanted to study it to learn more about my own, you know, issues. I wasn't necessarily I, I, I don't get me wrong i want to be able to help people that have the same issues as me or similar but at the same time i don't want to have to deal with everybody else's crazy i'm sorry i got enough of my own already <laughs> I'm, I'm fairly certain burb has a has something to say there and how does that make you feel I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> you walked into that one, kid. Yes, you did. Well, no, that's the thing. Uh, understand, if you have mental issues and you get locked into the idea of studying the human psyche, that's a lifelong experience. Because I know things about myself that I probably never would have known had I not uh, studied psycho uh, psychology and psychiatry. However, there are things that I really wish I didn't know about myself. <laughs> like, for example... Uh, a lot of people do not know what the difference between post-traumatic stress disorder and complex post-traumatic stress disorder is. I know I always call it compounds because my brain fucking short circuits a little. Uh, because it's what it used to be called. Then again, PTSD used to all be called fucking shell shock. Uh, normal PTSD can be... You, you can recover from it. It is not easy by any means, but it usually tapers off to manageable levels within a couple of years. Complex PTSD. Uh, that's the one you only get uh, if you're, you know, like me, have gone through some absolutely terrible shit and occasionally relive it. I didn't know there was a difference. I went through most of my life thinking, okay, I just get unnaturally fucking angry at things because occasionally something goes wrong in my life and it just fucks with me a little bit. I'm fine for a little while after. I'm fine for most of the time after. And I figured out what this was. Figured out I had it and got diagnosed after, you know, talking to not one, not two, but six uh, different doctors. And yeah, I really wish, I really wish I didn't understand it as much as I do now. Uh, Ramon, that is called lucid dreaming, and yes, I'm well aware it's one of, it's actually weirdly enough one of the uh, tricks for dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder, or rather... Uh, for treating it. That and hypnosis therapy, which is weird as fuck. And trust me, I can tell you for a fact that it works. I know everybody's gonna think, oh, that's yeah, fucking crazy. Nope. Think about it this way. Your brain is a computer. Any computer can be hacked.
Yeah, I, I learned lucid dreaming, Ramon, uh, back when I was in high school. It's it's not an easy thing to do. You have to train you have to train your mind to do a lot of things. For example, uh did you know your brain can't register certain things in a dream? Like for example, you, you can't identify text. So while in the dream you might think you're reading, you're actually not. There's no, there's nothing visible on the page uh, that one part of your brain can pick up because that part of your brain isn't actively part of the dream. You can trick your brain into going, oh shit, that's not really writing, I'm dreaming. Cool, I can take control of it now. They actually use that as a plot point in a Batman, a Batman animated episode. Yes, they did. They also used it as a uh, thing in uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. However, they made it seem like you could train your brain to do it at will. You have to effectively train certain things in your brain to recognize when you are and aren't dreaming. Like, for example, you can't read in a dream. Uh, you can't actually taste anything in a dream. Like, the part of your brain that would register actual flavors not there. So if you bite into something and it doesn't quite taste right. Or in my case, if uh, I taste something. I'm just going to call you a nice person. Because uh, I don't really know any way to uh, pronounce the K. I'm assuming the K is silent. Uh... Sorry, my foot itches like hell. Other part of me, diabetic, that sucks ass. Um, one of the things about lucid dreaming is you also have to train your brain to be able to take control of it. Part of when you realize you're dreaming, your brain will kickstart. The entire thing will start up. Most people will jar out of the REM state immediately if that happens. You have to train your brain to, when that signal happens, force it to not kickstart everything and only kickstart the parts of your brain that are absolutely needed. Only problem with that is it requires mental conditioning, which isn't really easy. Oh, yeah, no, you can straight up register pain in a dream. That's the shitty part. You can register pain. But you can't register thing like a uh, thing like flavor. Or, uh, like, letters. You can't see actual text. Hey, Kit. Yes? I think I already can't register flavors when I'm awake. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to uh, do texture either. God damn it, that sucks. That or your flavor profile would probably be more vivid too, so you could probably train your brain to, if you taste something uh, too potently, it would trigger a possible dream cycle. But then again, I've fallen asleep with my eyes open before. I've, I've actually, I, I trained myself to do that at one point too. Don't ever do that if you're epileptic. You yes, it can. <laughs> Don't ever do that if you're epileptic either, because your brain will process everything you see the instant your brain kicks back on. So it's essentially a just sudden flash of visual stimulus that your brain only oh, registers fuck. in the subconscious level. It can almost guarantee a grand mal signature. No, the strangest thing I fallen asleep to was when I was eating cereal one morning for breakfast before school. I fell asleep while eating, and I still ate the entire bowl without getting any on me. You didn't fall asleep, you disassociated. What do you mean? Your brain turned off. Like, it went on autopilot. You were not conscious, 
but you were not asleep. Your brain tried to drop into REM while you were conscious. That it, it causes your brain to go, Okay, cool, we're sleeping now! Uh, for about a third of it. The other third gets confused as all shit and just kind of keeps doing what it normally does. I used to be able to do that on command, like, regularly, to like, disassociate for no reason. Congrats, that's only because you're either A, autistic, B, have uh, a, a very, very bad trauma response to something, or uh, C, have physical cerebral damage. Autism. Bingo. Yeah, like, literal disassociation, where your body shuts down but keeps going. Like, your brain shuts down but your body keeps going. That's actually not something that normal people do. Ever. It is actually the sign of psycholo a sign of psychological damage, severe trauma, or physical brain damage. Yeah, nice person. I've had a dream where I fell. I didn't quite wake up before I hit the ground. I woke up and my entire body felt like it just got thrown against a wall. No actual physical damage, but the pain receptors in my entire body lit up like I was a broken heap of flesh. I, I literally woke up screaming in pain. I always found that interesting how dreams can make you feel pain you've never mm -hmm. felt before. I hate falling dreams <laughs> because it's I deal with night terrors occasionally. I also deal with uh, sleep paralysis. Combine a dream state in which you're falling with sleep paralysis when you wake up. Sleep paralysis is your brain didn't turn on the right way. If you know computers, it's a bootload error. Meaning your brain has to cycle a couple times before it'll actually work. That's why you can't move. Why you're conscious but can't control what is happening. And usually why it causes hallucinations. Because you're still dreaming. And your brain is oh, desperately trying to, pro uh, trying to process. If I hit a, hit the ground or impact something hard enough in a dream and wake up into sleep paralysis, I will feel that pain until I get up or until I physically will my body into action. If it is intense enough, I don't wake up normal. I wake up screaming uncontrollably. Scared the fuck out of my parents the first time I ever did that. I was like 12. And it was because I woke up and was still being eaten alive by spiders. Hey, ever wonder why I'm an arachnophobe? Fair enough. Hmm. Good news, you too. I finished the update, uh, upgrade to the program, albeit in the super -use. Fuck. Okay, let's get one date in at least. I'm kind of used to this now. I'm on my way to Masubius. <laughs> Isn't that or Gazoon Height or bless you, one of the I've added new functions to version uh. one point one of the forced break program. It's a system that teaches you simple relaxation methods when you enter rest mode. Now give it a try. I didn't Ooh, come me. here to test this, Arashi. Why don't you quit <coughs> developing this program? You came all the way here to tell me that? What a waste of time. You should have just refused when I invited you. No, I think it's important for me to tell you this. Huh. I'm all ears for your elegant speech, oh great one. It's not like that. I just don't know about forcing a break through a program. There are easier ways to help people relax. 
you could offer to listen to their problems or give them some advice. I see. I'll have to explore those options. Why don't you tell me about your problems then, Yuita? What? I'm taking your suggestion. You have a lot of pent-up feelings because of all this hard work you're doing, right? So, out with it. I don't know where to start. Like my family and brother? Chief Sumeragi? That's a bit of a touchy issue. Yeah. I had no idea he was involved in something like that. He even set me up as a traitor. My dad didn't tell me anything either. I understand your confusion. Although I can understand why the Chief did what he did. Does that mean you approve of their methods? I didn't say that. I don't endorse them or forgive what they did. However, the way they're willing to sacrifice their own family if necessary is something I can see myself doing. Would you be able to do that to Major General Fubuki? You could sacrifice your own brother depending on the situation? I would, but he wouldn't be able to make the same decision. For better or worse, he's still a <clears throat> child. You two are similar in that way. What's that supposed to mean? Children think they can save everyone, but that's not how reality works. There will always be something that needs to be sacrificed. Grown-ups have to figure out the line to draw on what to give up. I think you hate being that kind of grown-up. <laughs> Is that so? Well, you might be right. If I stayed a kid, I might be happier thinking I could do anything. Being able to selfishly slack off whenever I want is something a grown-up gets to do. Pretty cool, right? No, grown-ups shouldn't slack off. You really are so much like him. Oh, that's weird. That's gonna be funny to... I mean, bullshit. If you're trying to tell me grown-ups shouldn't slack off, fuck that. I'm sorry. I slack off all the time. Even if you're an adult, you have to know when to relax. Sorry, but that's one of those. <laughs> I mean, if an adult if doesn't never, relax every once in a while, yeah. If you never slack off, bad. just straight up, you you're living in survival mode. You're not living. If you never relax, there's no way to actually enjoy your. Program I was developing got put on hold, so now I have nothing to do. Do you have anything else to talk about? The Rishi Support Center is open for business. I'm surprised to hear you ask for work, Rishi. You look at the place in front of my SAS. I just said just to make sure that it's okay. Having a, ser a serious youngster around is rubbing off on me. I'm thinking I had to work a little harder. Oh, it seems that while I was writing this reply, the Arishi Support Center closed for the day. Sorry, maybe next time. Boy. So how is everyone today? Emotional support. She wasn't trying to support your dong. I'm good. Das is good. I love the fact.
like that that's the response. Just, I'm good. <laughs> I had a mental spiral today. Lovely. How so, and why so? And <sighs> just the thought, birthday's coming up, and just the thought, is my father gonna be there? Am I even gonna get a text from him? Ah. That's good to hear, Robert. At least I'm assuming that's Robert. Yep. Right. I guarantee Ramon's probably pissed at me from fucking... I get that one right, but his I complete or theirs I completely butchered. However, folks, this is probably where we're going to leave off. Again, I am right. air. Air belongs to no one. It doesn't matter who you are. I'm talking to myself. Okay. Anyways, folks, this is where we're going to leave off. So, if you enjoy the gameplay or the commentary, give us a like. If you want to keep up with this or any of our other content, hit subscribe and ring the bell. Become part of our notification squad so you can see when we upload and when we go live. But for now, this is Kit the Solus and Crew signing off. So, until next time, everybody, bye-bye! Nom. Bye-bye! Awoo. Uh, woo. Uh, woo. Why are you trying to steal my beans? Those are my beans. Om nom nom the face. Nom. Beans? What kind of beans are we talking about? Kidney, lima. Toe beans. Toe beans. Toe beans. Yes, mm. toe beans. I didn't know you had a foot fetish, dude. <laughs> no, I actually do not like feet, believe it or not. <laughs> eh. But the beans are so nice and round and squishy. Those are one thing. Beans are entirely different. Hey, Nexus.